Gemini Cancer, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading from the 16th to the 23rd. And um, please remember there's no way this can connect to every single viewer out there. So take what you can use and leave the rest. The Oracle cards go here which are all for you. The Tarot cards over here which are the energies around you. But you'll probably show up over here as well. So... Welcome cross watchers and thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I appreciate you all so very much. The likes, the comments, the subscribes, the views. I suggest to all my viewers to have a dream journal and a moon journal. If you take notes during the readings and the number on the card, you can Google the meaning later and you can self teach yourself about numbers. Also dreams, you could take notes of time. Um, if you write down the time in one word or what you're thinking when you wake up to use a restroom at night or get a drink or let the dog out and then do it every time you wake up and especially in the morning but go right back to sleep hopefully. You can decipher that. Sometimes it will trigger a dream you had but most importantly it is how our loved ones communicate with us through dreams and we forget a lot of our dreams. And the moon journal helps you Learn how you handle moons, how you, if you get emotional and, and that sort of situation. So the first one for you is musing right along. So you're just going along through life right now. You seem happy. You seem like everything's okay. GPS, you're where you're supposed to be. You feel like you are where you're supposed to be. And then nasty knot. So it says you're going to get a in a situation that's going to work itself out and come full circle but obviously it takes a while to work a knot out. So let's see what the other cards mean to what that could be for you. So the first one is the devil. So this could be addictions, this could be um, behaviors that are not for your highest good, this could just be manipulation, lying, Toxic energy. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is somebody looking to the past. Somebody who is missing something. But I, I'm going to point out here again. This is somebody offering a cup of love and somebody not giving nothing back. They didn't offer a cup of love. They didn't show their emotions. They gave nothing. And somebody is sad. So Ace of Coins is saying somebody's having victory and success and money. Or somebody maybe did better when they moved out of the situation. Somebody could regret that they treated somebody like this. Ace of Swords, yes. So this person communicated, I feel like it's you, that you weren't going to put up with that. And you didn't want that in your life. And the coins kind of help motivate you to be strong to get rid of this energy. So Two of Coins is talking about being flexible and compromising. There's a decision that you're going to make. And if you bend a little, it will be good for you. Or maybe you are very compromising and flexible with this person too long. So Seven of Coins is, wow, clarifying Seven of Cups. So I feel like you're trying to organize and figure out why you love this person or they're doing this vice versa to you. Somebody's trying to organize. How did it happen? How did this get like this? A lot of coins in here. King of Wands. So King of Wands is a king who is very organized, very multi-talented, multi-skilled. He does what he has to to take care of the family, to keep everything ship-shape is what I'm feeling or what I said came to my mind. King of Cups. So King of Cups is usually love, but to me this is a codependent king in this deck. Somebody who wants you to do what they say and stay where they can protect you and guide you, but they can do what they want. And because it's clarifying the Ace of Swords, I feel like you moved away from that codependency. So Five of Swords, which caused conflict. I don't know if somebody brought somebody else into the situation or they communicated to somebody else, but there is three people in this card. One person has their back turned, so this person might not even know about these two being connected. Three of Coins is success, like climbing the corporate ladder, or it could be co-worker as well. You have a lot of coins in here. So this is saying, 
Yeah, this could have been a coworker. You could have worked together. So four of coins now. So somebody is really um, holding their love and their money close to them. They're not investing in love right now because of the situation. King of Swords. A lot of kings and a lot of money. So this is somebody who wants to communicate. This is usually a really good debate person. This person is worldly. They know big words. They know how to communicate to somebody to get them to do what they want or to make it seem like they're smarter because of the way they communicate with their words. So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cat Tarot deck. Wow. So yeah, a lot of money. A lot of kings. Feel free to vice versa the kings to queens where that would work for you. So now we have the empress. Wow. So the empress is somebody who's very mothering, but she's very seductive, very good with children, very beautiful, very good with animals. She's organized. Her home is usually beautiful. Um, she doesn't have to be rich to live in a beautiful home, but she can have a home that looks bad on the outside I'm feeling and once you walk inside you see luxurious things in there you're like wow you wouldn't she's just beautiful inside and out so then we have eight of fire so eight of fire is somebody blaming so I do feel like somebody in a work environment is getting involved in a love situation they're maybe blaming the empress because she's so beautiful and she's organized and she has a lot of talents so, Eight of Sky talks about somebody being stuck. I feel like somebody is feeling overwhelmed by other people's opinions. And Sky Queen. Sky Queen is somebody who watches somebody. They're very cold and they watch the person. Could be a family structure. I'm getting something with family in these two. So then we have Four of C. So Four of C is depression. This is somebody who's depressed. Um, they're feel like they're never going to get to the end of their path, so to speak, and they're kind of like overwhelmed, and they are clarifying the empress. So maybe somebody's depressed because they're not the empress, or which isn't good to compare. So seven of C is denial. So there's some sort of denial. We got blame. We got feeling trapped. Um, somebody's in denial about themselves and comparing themselves to somebody else. So Seven of Earth, another family card. I feel like somebody has been waiting for family to step up and do something, and family hasn't done it. Hasn't done it. So somebody's in denial about what's going on there. So Six of C is a lot of tears. There's a lot of people crying. Something with a family, a lot of people crying. So I guess I'll go on. Six of Fire is my work card again to me. This is somebody who is a boss who people um, think this is a good boss and this boss really doesn't care. He's a taker. He'll take all the toys they bring him and not even turn around and say thank you. Thanks for bringing me the toys. So this is somebody in a work environment who thinks they're better than everybody. And people, there's workers who come up and cater to that boss because there's every people in every job that cater to the boss. So I'm getting that feeling there. And then Eight of Earth. Wow. So this is people who have a common denominator. People who flock together. I'm getting that from both of these. I don't know if it's your family, Gemini Capric Cancer. When I pick it up over here, and maybe a Capricorn's involved because I just said that. But this is Six and Eight. I feel like this is somebody teaching the family what to do in a work environment. Teaching somebody, a family, how to make money that's... Um, not in the best interest of them or and their future. Stars card. This is Aquarius or Leo. This is wish fulfillment. <coughs> Sorry about that. My mouth has been dry all day. And Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten is celebrating. Celebrating, being childlike, remembering. So look at this. Wish fulfillment, looking up at heaven maybe, and celebrating. So alright, I'm going to switch to the Earth Wisdom deck now. And the first one is Practical Intuition. So Practical Intuition talks about Say you're like, oh, I know um, Sally's going to call today. I just know it. She's going to call. And even though you didn't talk and you didn't 
say she was going to call that day. Practical intuition is you having things like that happen and pay attention to them. Noticing that, wow, that just happened. And I feel like they could come in threes. And yeah, new beginning. I feel like something is a pattern. Like they're repeating some sort of pattern for a new path for you, a new beginning. They're trying to light up a direction for you, a path to get you to stop going in circles. And if you pay attention, you'll see it. So relief, 22. So relief talks about, again, choosing a new path. I feel like you're, you're leaving a burden, long, drawn-out process behind you that didn't seem to go anywhere, and you're healing yourself, and you're going to move forward. You're moving forward with a lot of hope. The next one is strength. So you have a lot of strength to do this. You really do. And this could be the nasty knot that you are getting over. And strength is always a good thing. It looks like gold there when you look at it in the card. And GPS to me means that you're where you're supposed to be. Your global positioning satellite system that you're learning what you're supposed to learn. You're on your path. So the first one of the Whispers of the Ocean is seven, Dancing in the Rainbow. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. So this kind of makes me think of musing right along in the rainbow and the dolphin. This talks about you musing right along and you're like, oh my gosh, look at that. And you see something that really attracts your attention. And you're like, wow, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do it. But you do it anyway. And it's good for you. It's nothing that it's going to get you in any legal trouble. Just like, what's holding you back? Oh, this person at work who causes conflict, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, because it has nothing to do with these people. So 23, distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. This is one of my favorite cards, because this is the narwhal whale. And they were just on an article I read, I think yesterday or the day before. And the mostly the males grow this tooth. This is a tooth on there. And some of the females do. And it talks about, I don't think they grow it till they're like 10. But anyway, sometimes this left tooth can grow to be 9 feet long. Can you imagine? They use it to pierce the ice. And they pretty much live, I think it said around Iceland. <clears throat> I hope I'm right. So they, it was very interesting though, talking about they actually cut one of the unicorns and could tell the cycle of what they've eaten and how they've, um, what's it, how they've progressed in the years or whatever. And it seems like you're hearing about them more now. You know, I never heard about them or learned about them as a child, and now it's like I hear about them all the time. I hear about all the stuff and find articles on my cards. Just going about my business. I do read a lot. So anyway, what I'm getting at is there's something, this is their tooth, this makes them different, and there's people like you. There's people like you who have the same hardships that you've went through, the same mistakes you've made. You're going to find a group of people that you connect with that make you really, really happy. And you already know what I'm thinking when I'm looking at those cards. I feel like this could deal with um, same-sex issue for somebody. Now that I'm looking at that, maybe somebody had issues at work with same sex where people were just vindictive and horrible and mean because of that. And that would explain a moth, monot, that you're just going along around your business, you're doing your stuff, and people just get horrible. So stag, trust, and thrive. So this does make me, tell me that somebody's very protected. Somebody is transform transforming their life is changing changing for the better the green is the heart money very good and the horns are protected and it does say stay shallow and master be graceful in movement with action so this to me tells me not to go against other people's energy if you're at the grocery store and somebody gets really angry and tries to make a confrontation with you or you're at work and somebody like gives you a dirty look and makes a comment in the lunchroom like that's my chair or something this is telling you don't waste your energy on these other people get up and move or go around whatever you can do to save your energy harvest your energy and don't spill it or let it go on to people who aren't deserving of it 
basically. You can also Google shallow and master to see the meaning of that when you Google the numbers if you do because that is really important. And we see the dragon in there. Um, you can just learn who your ener who's worthy of your energy and who is not. So thank you so much. I hope this helps. Bless you.